All right, we're going to take it back to Cobo Center right now for the Michigan Automotive Summit. What a day for the event to make its debut here in downtown Detroit. Yeah, let's go live to Jeff Vaughn, who's been anchoring our coverage from there. And Jeff, this went pretty well today, right? It did. The keynote speaker today was none other than Governor Rick Schneider. He is the governor of the state, but he's also the CEO of Michigan. That's how they introduced him. And that is certainly one of his titles. But you might want to add this title as well. How about cheerleader in chief? Because his message today, stay positive. If you look at it now, people are becoming more positive. People are working better together to solve problems. Um, we just need to keep it up. Kicking off the first Michigan Automotive Summit from Cobo Hall, Snyder told attendees the state has turned the corner and is poised to come back from the recession that devastated the auto industry, sending GM and Chrysler into bankruptcy. Some of the things that you said today were pretty encouraging, almost was a little bit of a pep talk. Yeah, well, it should be. The auto industry's made a great comeback, and we've gone along with it as a state. So it's a mutual beneficial relationship where we're winning together, and we need to keep it up. Michigan leads the nation in per capita engineers, but the governor is asking, where are the car makers going to find the talent? If you talk to the auto industry, believe it or not, they're concerned they won't have enough engineers or skilled production people. Snyder urged auto executives to reach out to colleges and universities to draw talent to Michigan. The governor playing the part of state cheerleader, urging the crowd to blaze trails in different directions and gain a foothold in those areas already occupied, like autonomous driving, where Nevada, California, and Florida are already major players. We do lead in the connected vehicle approach because I don't think it'll just be autonomous. Yeah, as a matter of fact, right now in the Michigan House, there is a uh, pending legislation on autonomous driving, so that may soon be coming down. We'll, of course, uh, inform you when that and if that does happen. But, of course, uh, Rick Snyder is a politician. A little bit of politics thrown into his message today. He talked politics saying that his administration, he is a CPA, after all, has looked about 20 years ahead at the finances. He says it's looking pretty good. They've already erased that $1.5 billion deficit that he said he incurred when he took over. And he says the single biggest challenge that Michigan and especially Detroit has is changing its culture and once again going back to that message Stephen and uh, Joanne to be positive back to you I know his last campaign uh, slogan was one tough nerd this time it's going to be one successful nerd yeah. so, so yeah. touting successes here in Michigan uh, Jeff thank you for your coverage down there